Good morning, Christ Center. It's Saturday, November the 18th. This is the last day of week 10 of our journey through the book of John. Just two more weeks to go. As we begin this morning, let's take a moment of silent prayer and invite the Holy Spirit to join us. This is Jim McReynolds. Our reading is from John 18, 28 through 40. Then they led Jesus from the house of Caiaphas to the governor's headquarters. It was early morning. They themselves did not enter the governor's headquarters so that they would not be defiled, but they could eat the Passover. So Pilate went outside to them and said, what accusation do you have against this man? They answered him, if this man were not doing evil, we would not have delivered him over to you. Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves and judge him by your own law. The Jews said to him, It is not lawful for us to put anyone to death. This was to fulfill the word that Jesus had spoken to show by what kind of death he was going to die. So Pilate entered his headquarters again and called Jesus and said to him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Do you say this of your own accord or did others say it to you about me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Your own nation and the chief priests have delivered you over to me. What have you done? Jesus answered, My kingdom is not of this world. If my kingdom were of this world, my servants would have been fighting that I might not be delivered over to the Jews. But my kingdom is not from the world. Then Pilate said to him, So you are a king? Jesus answered, You say that I am a king. For this purpose I was born, and for this purpose I have come into the world to bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth listens to my voice. Pilate said to him, What is truth? After he had said this, he went back outside to the Jews and told them, I find no guilt in him, but you have a custom that I should release one man for you at the Passover. So do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? They cried out again, not this man, but Barabbas. Now Barabbas was a robber. Pontius Pilate was, by all accounts, a really bad man, but he was in a tight spot here. He asks Jesus, are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus says, well, my kingdom's not of this world. So he says, aha, so you are a king. And Jesus doesn't quite answer that either, but says that he came to earth to bear witness to the truth, to which Pilate throws up his hands and says, what is truth? Pilate is clearly conflicted. And remember, he was he was also probably spooked by a warning that came from his wife, which is recorded in, in Matthew chapter 27. She she said that she had a dream about Jesus and, and was pleading with her husband not to hurt him. And, and it appears he doesn't want to hurt him. In fact, he tells the crowd, I find no guilt in him. In other words, uh, I think he's innocent, you guys. Pilate, at least on some level, got it. He believed intellectually that Jesus was the king of the Jews. Even so, this conflicted leader gave in to the fear of the mob, and he let Jesus be crucified. It's a really sad story. I've often wondered what became of Pontius Pilate. Was he haunted by his decision to go against his conscience? Or did he justify himself for years with rationalizations about his own political duties? I don't know. But the fact remains, he failed. He knew the truth in his head, but he did not act on it. Friends, it's not enough to intellectually consider a thing to be true or false. That's not where belief is actually measured. It's not measured in our heads. Belief is measured in our response to truth. What do we do when we see it? That's how we know whether we really believe or not. The person of Jesus presented a challenge to Pilate that day, and well, he presents a challenge to us even today. Is this the Messiah? Is this really the Son of God? Is he the king whose kingdom is not of this world? If he is, that calls for a response. And not a one-time response either, but a response we keep on making. It's not enough to say yes to him in our heads. No, 
the only proper response is to lay our lives down again and again, pledging our very lives to him. Let's pray. Jesus, we acknowledge again today that you are our king. We say yes to your kingdom and yes to your rule. Lead me today as I seek to follow you in all of your ways. Amen.